Okay, now for the last time, the user agent, again, is the user that can send SIP request and receive SIP response. And SIP request is like call setup request, for example. And SIP response is which allows you to make this call. And as we said, the user agent is something we do a setup for it on your desktop or laptop or mobile, for example. So this mobile can make SIP calls and can send SIP messages and receive SIP messages. So once we do this setup, this is called a SIP user agent. We call this request and response something we call the SIP dialog. Now let's talk on a high level, what is the SIP dialog that happens between SIP user agent client and SIP user agent server? Briefly, SIP dialog means exchange of SIP messages between the SIP agents or between the user agents and each other. So the SIP dialog is when the user client, for example, or user agent client decided to do a call or initiate a voice call. So he will send a SIP request and the type of the SIP request is invite or invite SIP message. We will understand all of the SIP messages upfront, but here we're talking on a high level, how the SIP dialog looks like. So we're giving an example using invite message. And invite means that I am inviting someone to join me on a call as when I want to call someone, so I am inviting him to speak with me on a call. And this is called a SIP call. So I am sending him a SIP request and its type is invite. And in the SIP request, I am putting the identity of the person that I want to call, which is here, for example, adam at corems.com. So this is my request for this person to talk to me as I am sending this request to the SIP server. And as we said, the function of SIP server is to, again, respond to this request, either by sending a positive response or a negative response. Positive response is that he agrees to this call and negative means that I have a problem here in my network and I want to initiate it. So if it's sent 200 okay, which is one of the most famous responses in SIP. And as I said, all of this will be discussed in details up front. So 200 okay means that the dialog it initiated by sending the invite. So send me your other requests as well. So now I initially agree for you to start your call. Here, the creation of a dialogue is complete. All right. So let's state this part here so you guys can take a bit of a look. All right. Goes from here. Here, when the SIP request was sent, when we send a SIP request, it was replied by 200 okay response. And you will see here that dialogue three, okay, then, the user agent client will send some extra information. 
which is all of the information needed so it can initiate the call. And once this info is sent, and if it wants to send an update on the call itself, and it finished all these procedures, the media stream is done. Or let's say the media stream here means the type of voice call, which is speech traffic, which is the voice itself or the words you speak. Now the media stream is done or the call is done between the two users. What happens is releasing to this voice call. As we said, one of the functions of SIP is that it's set up or it sets up the session then does modification and at the end it does tear down to SIP session. This is what we explained exactly right now. So now you did the setup to your session, then the media stream, and you did your modification. And at the end, you want to tear down the session. Once you want to do tear down, so one user will end by saying, let's say, bye. All right. A buy message, in which buy message means that he is closing the call. And as again, the buy message, that means he's closing the call and the other end replies by okay, for example. So as we said here, dialogue created. And here, as you can see, we can put, oops, from this part here, you'll see dialogue ends. So let's down. So here, so here we initiated the call and we know the SIP dialogue in general, right? 